boy, you uh, keep talking, and I can't even get a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. I was here a year ago, and this car's back to the way it was. I think uh, it was one of my videos, a Ford, Ford Edge. just exactly like it was a year ago before I cleaned it. JD working on the floor mats. And we'll start vacuuming. Got all the tools that I need. Uh, the fur reel. A pumice stone, pet hair brush, and the lily brush. Didn't bring my GoPro, so I'm gonna have to put you down. Okay, surprisingly, this took very little time about 10 minutes uh, with my fur eel. Link is in the description. Uh, the combination of the type of carpet and the type of pet hair uh, made it pretty easy. So I'm going to give the camera over to my helper, JD, and he's going to, we're going to work on the back here. I'm going to give you an example of these three different tools here versus the fur eel. That works pretty good. There's some hair left, but I got to vacuum this up now. That does pretty good. Still got to vacuum that up. This is the pumice stone. Probably what I would use if I didn't have the fur eel.
so steamer is super hot. That tip right there is who knows how many degrees. But I laid it down and sat on it. And that right there is going to turn into a blister. So don't do that. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the day. It'll be much worse. All right, gonna continue doing all that. JD's hard at work. We'll be back uh, when we're closer to finishing probably and uh, see how it turns out. satisfying or what? <laughs> Sorry about the one-handed detailing, but don't have my GoPro today. Been working on some other stuff, so left the GoPro at home. Plus, we've been so busy, I just don't have a lot of time to film. I'm going to get my trusty sponge out. This sponge here is just an open cell sponge. I don't know where I got it from, so uh, it's just a piece of foam, but it does a really good job at cleaning up seats. Better than a microfiber towel. And it doesn't harm the leather like a magic eraser would. Gonna follow up with a protectant here, um, Meguiar's Quick Interior Detailer. Uh, that, this rag is soaked in it. Gives it a nice matte finish, like a factory look.
How's that working for you? Pretty good. I think you'd have better luck with that fur eel. It all depends on the type of carpet and the type of uh, dog hair, pet hair. So you just have to play around with the tools you're using. In this case, the fur eel works great on the carpets and the floor mats. Not so good on the back. The back's kind of a cheap, high piled carpet. Uh, and the, the pumice stone kind of pulls it out much better than the fur eel. So. Have them both on hand. Still using this stuff. This might be discontinued. I haven't checked lately, but um, last I ordered, I got the last of it. Perfect for these dash vents and cup holders. And on these Fords, uh, this plastic trim here is, is so cheap and this plastic here is so cheap that it just never looks good after you clean it even. So I always give it a spray. Just on Fords I think. Mostly Fords. It's like a super soft plastic that's just susceptible to scratches and dirt that gets stuck inside you just can't get it out no matter what you do so I cheat a little bit and spray it with the uh, plastic and vinyl coating you can still they still make other plastic and vinyl coatings like uh, stoners makes one I've used it it's pretty good And then I'll go back over it with a dry cloth and after it kind of soaks in a little bit and get the residue. We're just about done. JD's just finished up the uh, floor mats. See what I mean? Let me show you. Like right in here. It's not dirty. It's just damaged. Makes it look pretty good. Anyway, JD's finishing up the uh, carpet floor mats. I'm gonna turn him loose on these door jams. Get all that cleaned up. And we'll work on the windows. And we'll be done, right? Yep. All right, these floor mats could use a little brightening up. Primarily, my hyper dressing is just for this reason. Just spray a little bit on there. Do it enough ahead of time to where the sun will bake it in. And then uh, any residue I'll wipe up. We'll check back to see how they look after a little while. 
probably thinking, man, uh, that hyper dressing is going to make these mats slippery. These are rubber mats and they don't really get slippery no matter what you put on them. But like WeatherTech mats do, and usually uh, after they dry, I'll knock it down with a, a dry cloth. And it uh, still makes it kind of slippery, but uh, not near as bad as it would if I left it like that, left it shiny. Uh, I just tell a customer, be careful. You know, WeatherTech mats, uh, you have to use a protectant on them and the protectant's a little slippery. So long as they know. Much better. All right, JD just finished up the door jams. We are done. Turned out pretty good. Got here at nine o'clock. Right now it is. 1117 so after the uh, introduction and going around the vehicle I got started about 915 so two hours start to finish no extraction now why would you not extract it DJ Oh, remember how I say every job is different. Every customer's expectations are different. The customer's expectations on this vehicle were very low. Um, when I got here, she said, there's a lot of pet hair. But she didn't uh, check the box for pet hair. So already that puts me behind because when you check... The pet hair box that adds time to the detail um, extractor comes out when I when they check the box for excessive uh, she didn't check that box it was pretty excessive wouldn't you say JD yeah. pretty excessive so she didn't check the box she don't get the extractor so it still turned out pretty good wouldn't you say JD mm-hmm Boy, you uh, keep talking, and I can't even get a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk, 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 talk all the time. Mm-hmm. 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 well, got about an hour drive to the next job, and that's a full detail. You excited? Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, by the time this video posts, this vehicle will be back to the way it was, I bet you. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> All right, couple things. Status update on my wound. Uh, we're at the second job right now, getting started. But uh, here you go. Yep, blister, blister, blister. Next thing, I'm going to crack the uh, vacuum open and show you all the pet hair. This was cleaned out last night. So everything in here was from that Ford Edge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. <laughs> 